just a few days ago I built myself an alley here and put a head gate up so I can work some cattle had some light poles that I had gotten and some leftover pressure treated 2x6s painted them up with some black barn paint and if you don't do something with the top of these light poles or your fence posts uh, over time the rain will get on top of them and it'll freeze in the winter time crack and dry rot and then you'll wind up having to replace them over and over again but uh, today we're going to put some caps metal caps on top of those you can go to your local hardware store or farm store and, and buy those caps they're uh, a little expensive but if you've got some leftover materials you can actually do it quite cheap uh, I had some leftover flashing it comes in a in a coil or a roll and uh, this just happens to be painted black it matches my fence so that's going to work out you can spray paint those or leave them the natural color whatever metal it is that you get but uh, sometimes you can find some leftovers and, and do something good with it so let's get our camera situated here and we will go through and try to cut some of these out uh, first thing you want to do is get your measurement measure the width of your fence post that way you'll know what length to cut your your flashing and I already have a piece cut this fence post is 10 inches across so I cut my flashing 10 inches and uh, just cut it out in a square the first thing you want to do is put a couple of tacks or roofing nails just real thin or real small roofing nails right on top that's gonna that's gonna hold down the material so it doesn't slide out of out of place so I've got a nail in there already but just square it up in the center the way you want it put your nail in there that'll hold it in place while you're making your cuts uh, after that uh, take your first corner whichever corner you want to work with first doesn't really matter bend it down and drive in another little roofing nail that's going to leave kind of a bow on both sides for you uh, after that you want to cut into this on just a little bit of an angle not a lot but just a little bit of an angle um, let me move this so you can see it there that will see there's the the angle that i used um, don't have to measure them we're not not doing anything for nasa here now hammer that down and then that will allow your other side to, to overlap it and once that's overlapped go ahead and throw in another roof and nail Essentially what we're doing is covering the top so that the rain can't get in there and freeze this winter. This right here protects the top edges. These will overlap just a little bit. Uh, after you do that, you just work your way around. You get this next corner. After you get that tacked down, take your hammer and work it down just a little bit. Make sure you hammer in any uh, sharp edges that are sticking out. You don't want to get cut later on while you're working cattle or, or whatever you're doing. Just hammer that down and then keep working right on around. You should eventually get back to the side you started on and you'll have your fancy roof or uh, your fancy uh, uh, fence post all covered up and protected for the winter. keep adding a few nails all the way around and again this is usually uh, for the price of flashing versus the price of these caps that you can buy at your hardware store this is much cheaper and it's way more inexpensive than replacing fence posts every few years so here we go uh, finished product that covers the top of your fence post this right here covers you all the way around and just a shot of my head gate uh, that's a job putting those things up by the, by yourself but uh, we got got a used head gate and uh, had to do a little bit of repair work on it but 
on a small farm everything's repaired everything is uh, fixed and used and reused and recycled so I'm gonna keep on working on this finish all my posts and as you can see I've got several more to go but thank you for joining and uh, be sure to subscribe and like the video thank you